You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. Sunny 93.3, thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show on a Monday morning. We've got Mr. Dan Ferris joining us for the bonus hour. How you doing, Dan? I'm doing pretty darn good. How was your weekend there, good. fellow travelers? Good. You look very confused. Hello, what are you traveler. looking for over there? Oh, I have a notebook. I still, I still kick it old school. I write That's... things down in a I notebook. I write things down all the time. Heidi yeah. always makes me make a list, and mm-hmm. then I write the list down, and I walk out of the studio and leave it and lay, lay it in here. Yeah, so. I'm probably single-handedly responsible for keeping the Post-it note people in business. There you go. That the, works. And yet I still can't find anything. <laughs> Which is nice. This is really no big deal, and I really don't want to spend any time on it, but it's oh. uh, for some reason, it's Canada Day. Oh, yeah. Happy it's, Canada Day. Uh, the only question I've ever really had about Canada yeah. is, and as you know, I'm kind of a sports fan. Yeah. Uh, I'm from Minneapolis, so the Vikings and the Twins have always been big in my life. Uh, the Twins are doing great this year, by the way. They're fantastic. But I've always wondered how, how we have the Toronto Blue Jays in, in the major leagues in the United States of America. I mean, it's literally just a team from Canada that is in the yeah. the you know America's sport. It's just always been been weird to me, and nobody, yeah, nobody seems to be able to answer that. Well, maybe there uh, is Toronto right on the border. Maybe yeah, it's Ontario, uh, Toronto, Ontario. One's they're still in Canada, the though. <laughs> they are <laughs> okay. <it's> they are, <laughs> and especially well, yeah, they're in the AL East. In fact, uh, well, they're twenty two games out of first behind the Yankees, so they're really bad this year, but they've picked up a couple of World Series and stuff like that. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. Nobody's been able to explain to me why we have a Canadian team in in the major leagues. Nobody's been able to explain to me why Thank my you. wife put bells on our dog. And has it running here. Do you hear the jingle bells in here? There are little, little doggies in the studio. Little doggies. Why do we have bells on our dogs? So I can find them. Yeah, let's put let's cut the bells off our dogs. <laughs> It's not a good plan. Well, let's see if we uh, get them cowbells. If we can't get the Blue Jays out of Major League Baseball, <laughs> or, or we, just maybe have them relocate to like Buffalo. We've set up a GoFundMe page. <laughs> we've set up a link. A change.org page. No, we've not set up anything. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Mr. Dan Ferris on Sunny 93.3. Do you have a credit card? Is it the very best credit card? Many people get their credit card as a response to an offer that was mailed to you. These are typically not the best cards. Check the fine print for the fees and interest. We have a website that compares many different cards being offered so you can find the one that's the best fit for you. If you'd like to find a better credit card, we'd love to help at bettercreditcards.net. There's no obligation. Just click and compare to see if we can get you a better credit card at bettercreditcards.net. Sunny 93.3, it's time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Hey, little Radio Ranger Chillins. Hey, one of our Radio Ranger Chillins is gone. Heidi went to get coffee or something. But well, Heidi just... She'll be back. She just bolted. Well, not my responsibility. I'm <laughs> I'm a ranger, not a daycare provider. That's all there is to it. And I'm her husband, not a daycare provider. You know, here's the thing. People, you know, go both with skunks. you got to admit, skunks are kind of cute. They're adorable, but they don't smell too great. They're a good-looking creature, and I'm glad you brought that up, because here's a couple stats on skunks. Okay. A human being can pick up the whiff of a skunk well over a mile away. Really? So when you first smell... That is how potent that is. When that, you first yes. smell that, they could be up to a mile they away? They could be up to a mile plus away from you when, when you smell that scent. No kidding. I didn't realize Absolutely they were that a true potent. Story. And <clears throat> skunks are actually hesitant to use that spray. Really? You have to really kind of tick them off because it takes time, effort, and energy for them to reload oh. that gland. See, they have to like take a time out yeah. to, to get that back up to speed. So I just saw a cat. Uh, this tree that we're having removed from our front yard. I've I've heard tales. Yes, there was a cat that backed up to that and peed on it and shot pee directly into that tree. I've never seen that done before, but it was like a skunk spraying the tree. That's a that's a tomcat. Yeah, that was a cat. Yep. So what, doesn't like the tree apparently. Is that no what that loves is? the tree, marking territory and looking for a mate. Yeah. Okay. Well, yep, that's what's happening there because I'm a ranger and you know and stuff. I know these things. Yes. And here's another thing: if you do run into a skunk, yeah, you're going toe to toe with uh, with a skunk. Yeah. They cannot, they are not physically capable of biting and spraying at the same time. Really? So if you get them to bite you, then they can't spray you? Yeah, go for the bite. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely go for the bite and then just run. 
<laughs> yep, yep. All that, right. That well, is my advice. Thank you, Ranger Dan. Yep, I'm a ranger. That's Mr. all there is to it. Say your prayers, kids. Eat your fruit and veggies, and uh, don't don't steal cars. There you go, Ranger Dan's Critter Corner on Sunny ninety three point three. The inventor of Rippet gloves has been a drywall guy for decades. He was trying to find gloves that worked for him and his crew, but nothing was quite right. So he went out and created some. Rippet gloves fit firm in your hand and protect your hands, but still allow you to use a touch screen. Professional athletes love the extra grip Rippet gloves gives them painters roofers contractors but also motorcycle and horseback riders see why everyone loves rip it gloves at rip use promo code radio to save 25 percent. that's r-i-p-i-t gloves.com promo code radio sunny 93.3 time now for water cooler talk with mr dan ferris beating the mean streets of sioux falls and finding out what the heck is going on what's the skinny man what's the latest if you recall this is a couple months ago a uh, city actually put out a survey for public consumption you could weigh in on on what you thought should maybe be done with the Sioux Falls Arena. I remember this, yeah. Yeah, yeah and what they're talking, uh, well, what they're referring to now is the event campus in Sioux Falls, because if you hang the word campus on something, it makes it, I don't know, I guess it just <laughs> yeah. makes it just yeah. better. It's just more cooler, yeah. Well, the people have spoken, the results are in, and according to the people, apparently we want uh, big changes, not just little incremental changes. The results of the online survey uh, were unveiled uh, mid-last week. During a meeting of the campus task force. Really? Oh, wow. That's impressive. What if they get, like, fire How do you become a member of the campus you just task force? Well, remember, we actually talked about it. We were going we to go decided, to meeting, Yeah, know? but nobody, we decided nobody would let us join, so we just you know, skipped the whole thing. <laughs> we went and got hot wings instead. So, but the know. consensus seems to be, after all these years, folks say, you know what? Tear down the arena. That's the, what they want to do? Add more convention space and add more parking, which... Doesn't seem all that insane to me. Cause Parking ramp? Didn't we call that years ago? We said yeah, they're going to build this thing, and then they're going to tear down the yeah. arena. Well, because right from the get-go, when the Premier Center went up, it... it I mean, let's face it, the, the parking thing, pretty, right. pretty horrendous, especially when you got a ball game going on, you got a concert going on, yeah. you got, you know, whatever, whatever. But, of course, make no mistake, and I've said this before... By 2023, everything needs to be downtown. They gotta everything <laughs> down. Everybody needs to live down there. Yes. And all the businesses except Hy-Vee and Lewis need to be downtown. Downtown. Yes. So you better start hunting around what now. 2023. 2023. You better start looking for yeah, you space. You better start moving. That uh, that Did is. Did we the call plan. that parking ramp that's not being used? Oh, and also there was a misfire here uh, last week, and I think I inundated that the city was raising property taxes. That is incorrect. That's the county. Oh, it's the county. That's those are those are mm. two. Two, two, two different lines of thievery. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is true. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the county is raising property taxes, not the city. Okay. That's much better. Not the city. I was concerned for a bit there. No. But now it's all good. So you work in, you know, state and federal and whatnot, and that's that's why your paycheck is what it is, baby. As woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Why do we give him a microphone? So. I I wouldn't. <laughs> it were my decision, but it wasn't. And then here we are. Live with it, John. It wasn't up to me. Wait a minute. It was up to me. All right. Thanks, Dan. That's Water Cooler Talk right here on Sunny 93.3. Join us for a fun week in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic for the third annual 80s in the Sand. We've been there the last two years. In addition to making a bunch of awesome new friends, we had so much fun meeting 80s actors and musicians. 80s in the Sand takes over the entire resort, so you'll mingle with them at the pools and the restaurants, too. We'd love to have you join us. See the amazing lineup featuring Sammy Hagar and many more at RadioTravelGroup.com. Save $200 per person for first-time guests at radiotravelgroup.com. Sunny 93.3, time now for the Maverick Recruiting Top Gun of the Week. Take my breath away. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Do, yeah, hey, hey. Uh, every nice. Monday at this time, a big thank you to our friends at Maverick Recruiting. They help us with this thing called the Maverick Recruiting Top Gun of the Week. And the way this is uh, put together, Heidi will find somebody. Uh, last week, it was our mailman on Facebook. Everybody's saying, Kevin the mailman. Kevin the mailman. They were saying, "How did uh, who nominated you? How did this happen? And a lot of people congratulating Kevin. So yeah. uh, our inkling of the fact that we thought he was awesome was absolutely proven to be true. Oh, yeah. Everybody, everybody on so. Facebook loved him. Yeah, everybody Heidi's kind of like so. a secret shopper. Yeah. So we, we have kinda, uh, yeah. a new Maverick Recruiting Top Gun of the Week this week. And the winner is... Elvira from oh. Lowe's. Who? 
Her name is Elvira. She's amazing. Elvira. It's Elvira in the song. But this is Elvira. And I have to second that. Absolutely. I, I, oh, you were there, John? I was there. You was there. I was not there for this. I was there for the first round of service with her, and she was phenomenal. She was amazing. And then my husband was working on things at the home, and I got like an step. idiot, left to go to Lowe's without his wallet. <laughs> she found a way to still be able to help me out, help him this, get this, checked this, out, oh. even though he didn't have his ID with him. She remembered him. She's like, "You're and, lucky. I waited on you just yes. a little bit ago." She so. was able to still make the transaction happen based off of the card info from our last transaction. So she went through the extra effort. She saved my to bacon, Dan. I was, was the amazing. last customer that night. They close at ten. All of this happened. I get in the car. It was ten oh seven. So it was after they closed. Even she stuck around. And I think sure. it's amazing how you go through your life just irritating people. <laughs> <laughs> And, and irresponsibly <laughs> bouncing from one problem to another. Yeah. I'm usually the one that causes that. Which them, is so. why she deserves an award. She because does. she stayed late and she, I mean, she just, she did stuff. That she didn't, she could have just said, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Well, no, that is above idea. and beyond. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely it is. is. All right, absolutely. Thank you so much for doing Sweet. what you do. So we're going to go in and take her a little award, oh, that's awesome. a shirt. I'm going to come with. And uh, I'm excited for that. And also, I want to say a big thank you to Maverick Recruiting. For those of you out there who are thinking, I would like to have awesome people working for me. If you reach out to them, they'll help you find awesome people. Now, if you happen to be awesome people and you're going, I want a better job, he can help you find a, a more awesome, better job as well. Reach out to John at Maverick Recruiting. All of his info at maverickrecruiting.com. Credit cards. They can be trouble. About 12 years ago, we did a debt snowball program and got rid of our credit cards. We were debt-free except for our house. It was awesome. But over the course of the next decade, our credit score went down. That sounds weird, but they need open accounts to give you a score. Our lower score made our insurance rates go up. We decided to get a credit card to help with that. We just pay it off every month. If you want a better credit card, check out BetterCreditCards.net. They help you compare all the different cards to get the best one for you. That's BetterCreditCards.net. Sunny 93.3, time now for entertainment news of the day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Celebrities are fabulous. Sometimes they'll take the time to tell me what to think and how to live and how to feel and don't think I don't appreciate that. <laughs> oh, wow, the tempo of the song just changed. It's, it's a work in progress. Like, kind of like, uh, come on, Eileen, you've got some multiple tempos. I'm feeling it here. I'm feeling it. Feel it's the gonna vibe. It's going to be a hit, man. It's going to be a hit for sure. Celebrities. <laughs> I get kind of goosebumpy. Somebody's, somebody's going to hit him eventually. For hey, sure. you know, sev several months ago, you know, when the, when the awards, uh, when the Oscars were coming out, there was all this buzz about Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. who starred in the remake of uh, Star Born, is, of course, right. and then Rumor's still flying. I mean, he ended up breaking up with his girlfriend. Yeah, and, and she and broke up with her she boyfriend. She knocked off her engagement and whatnot. Well, it looks like they're going to work together again. Oh. A little different way. A Guardians of the Galaxy 3 okay. is coming out. In case you don't know, Bradley Cooper is the voice of Rocket. Okay. The no raccoon. Idea. Loved that character. Didn't know that. Well, apparently. Never seen it. She is going to sign on as the voice of a new character who plays Rocket's girlfriend uh. in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So not only is Hollywood a Twitter, <laughs> yours truly is basically nipping out over this. <laughs> I cannot get enough of the Gaga Cooper stuff. <laughs> No. Wake me up, I must be dreaming. <laughs> well, well, you know, for a person in your line of work, Dan, you know, covering the celebrity beat, this really is probably a big deal. It's the kind of stuff you lay awake at night going, boy, I sure wish Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga would just like hook up and get it over with. It gets sometimes so emotional when it gets yeah. to this level. Yeah. Uh, Heidi, hold me. <laughs> I'm glad he asked you to hold him. <laughs> it's just, I just, I, I hope and pray that this comes to be. That's all I can say. This would, this would be, uh, this would be good for all of us, Dan. If I couldn't live vicariously through these people, it just, you know, forget about it. I'm, There'd be nothing left. I'm wandering the You're streets in a, in a, in a leather loin cloth, <laughs> picking up <laughs> cigarette butts out of the gutter, and that's it. So. Thank, thank goodness well, for celebrities. We, we don't want you going back to that. So. Ooh, yeah, been there. Lord knows. <laughs> well, Dan, thanks again, sir. My, my pleasure. Chuck. Again, Dan Ferris with our entertainment news of the day. <laughs> Bring it Sunny. in here, you two. Bring it in. <laughs> uh -huh. Get away from me. On Sunny 93.3.